it's, it's hard to believe when you think about that seems like such a long time ago, but yet it seems like it was five minutes ago. And I guess when you're a part of something special the way that we were and, and the, the, the young men and the grown men who taught those young men uh, in that moment in time, it's, uh, it's special, it's nostalgic, it's something that will stay with us for the rest of our lives. And to be able to come here today in the place where it all began for us, uh, our college careers, um, that it extended obviously on the field and beyond, uh, it's just a, a, an immense pride that I feel. Uh, Coach Snyder's family is here with us today, um, as well as I believe Pat Tillman's brother. And just to have them here and those spirits to be present with us today, because he can't be here physically, I think just adds, adds to the mystique, adds to the pride, adds to the, the, just the, the specialness of what we're experiencing. The thing that sticks with me most about that season is that that team embodied everything that we face in regular everyday life. Perseverance, you know, we, we had adversity hit us, we had injury hit us, but we persevered through that. Commitment, we were tested, we fell behind in a couple of games, which very easily could have turned into losses, but yet we committed and we persevered and we stayed the course and we practiced one at a time, which is what we were taught. The culture of our program was one at a time and these men, who were young men at the time, lived and breathed it every day, and that's why we were able to turn that into the success that we did. Do you still live one at a time? Do, do you still live and breathe one at a time? I think it's safe to say that every single grown man now, 25 years later, can point back to what we were taught at Arizona State University under, coach, under head coach Bruce Snyder and say that one at a time has led to us being successful in our lives. Nebraska win, you guys stayed on the field for quite a while, soaking in with the fans, hit the ball post coming down. There was some crazy stuff that went on after those big wins. Yeah, the, the fans and the, being able to provide that experience for them as well, especially our students that were, even through the three and eight year, the six and five years, they were right there with us, rabid, taunting the other team, you know, our, our students to be able to give them that. The, the victory over Nebraska, the Cal game, and our, our students stormed the field first. Um, they kind of led the charge. And even now to this day, it just brings a big smile to my face to know that my, my classmates, the guys that, and the girls that I was in, 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 in the trenches with in school every day, uh, were able to enjoy that with us uh, on the field and be a part of that, uh, that huge uh, season that uh, obviously culminated in the Pac-10 championship. It's, it's very bittersweet and that we don't have Pat Tillman and Coach Snyder here. It would have been wonderful to have them here because they were not only a great football coach and a great football player, they were great men. They were men who impacted their environments. They were men who had an effect on other people and were able to, to just uh, endear them and bring them into their world. And, and you know, Pat was a very engaging person as was Coach Snyder. So to be able to be, to be here today is great, but to not have them here, it, it is bittersweet. But when you go 25 years, sadly, that's part of life, is, is loss. And sadly, we suffered that loss early, you know, in 2004 and 2009. So it is bittersweet not having them here, but they are here. They're here in our hearts, they're here in our spirits, their spirits are here. As long as we're alive and as long as the mystique and the magic of that season lives on, they live on. And that's a special thing.